backseat without knockout. Do you know that one of the cars is on the Yes, to land this Mr. Fish. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. Sorry, <laughs> Take two. Oh, sure. Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. They're crafted with 48-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. Welcome to CMB Scene, coming to you from the 30th Annual Halifax Greek Fest. For three decades now, on the second weekend of June, thousands and thousands of folks have flocked to Nova Scotia's capital to celebrate this very rich culture. The community, the dancing, and oh my goodness, the food. Well, over the course of the next half hour, we'll do our best to share the experience with you, taste the traditional dishes, take a glorious church tour, teach you some signature dance moves, and even learn a little Greek along the way. Plus, we'll share some other festival news from around the Atlantic province provinces and give you a chance to win some TV free stuff too. Well with so much celebrating on the go I say let's get to it starting with the man who's been more than a little busy leading his team towards this 30th anniversary event. We caught up to him between all his many duties as event chair this weekend to get the scoop on his vibrant community and reflect on how Halifax Greek Fest began. Yes, I'm that. And you know why? Because I'm standing beside this guy who you basically run it, George Theoharopoulos. Perfect. Yes. Well done. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. Um, so I, I salute you, sir, on 30 years of fun. Thank you very much. It's 300 families. Is that right? Like, it's a lot oh, of people. right. Maybe yeah. three to 400 families in the Greek, uh, our Greek community here. Okay. And now we should say and extend a shout out to, uh, they go on in New Brunswick and in and Newfoundland. And in Newfoundland as well. Right? Yeah. Okay, but this is the biggest in Atlantic. We don't like to brag. We're Maritimers. It's one big happy family, and we're excited. Just take me back to when you first started. You were on the stage, is that right? So yeah, our first festival was in 1986. Okay. I had the pleasure of being there. Not quite the stature I am now, but but uh, yeah, I was on the stage for the, the very first dance performances. Okay. And then you taught classes, and those people are back tonight. I was so inspired, and I enjoyed it so much, I got into teaching. And after more than a decade of teaching, I said, you know what, this is something that we have to continue to, to, to pass on to the next generation. So here we are 30 years later, and I said, there's no way our group that danced 30 years ago is not getting on that stage. So indeed, we were on for two performances Saturday and Sunday. Woohoo! All right, you're gonna give us some dance steps, is that right? Sure, I'll try. Okay, and we're also going to try some food. Excellent. Yeah, and language. Who's teaching us language today? We've got some, because uh, it's hard. It's not an easy language. So we're fortunate, actually. Uh, we have uh, Greeks that have just emigrated here now, and they're actually going to be here, and we're going to pick one out who's going to give you Good. the translation. And by the end of the show, I'm going to be fluent. Say a prayer. George, thank you, and thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Opa. 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 That's a word you'll hear a lot of on this show and all throughout the four days of Halifax Greek Fest. That's right around the time you'll experience kefi. That feeling that comes over one and can only be expressed by dancing, singing, and radiating with happiness. Kefi. Still ahead on CNBC, we'll make our way through the food menu here at Greek Fest. Plus, we'll discover some greater meaning in drinking Greek coffee and feast our eyes on some truly spectacular iconography. Well, George promised us some help with learning the great language of the Greeks. So here to help us now and throughout the show, the oh-so-charming and capable Kostandinos Manos. Hello, how are you? I can't find my hotel. Help! You're such a great dancer. Well, as tricky as that last phrase is to say, it's one that will definitely come in handy throughout the Halifax Greek Fest as the dancing is unbelievable.
Groups of all ages practice tirelessly to be ready for the festival each year, presenting dances from all regions of Greece dressed in elaborate costumes to complement their performances. It's wonderful to see these cultural traditions embraced and celebrated by each new generation of dancers and great for the audiences too as they are constantly wowed by the skills and showmanship. And naturally, where there's dancing, there's great music being made. And how cool is this? One of North America's top Greek musical groups has made it their tradition to entertain the Halifax Greek Fest crowds for the past 20 years. Poseidon is based in Ottawa, Ontario, but tour the continent, sharing their amazing sound of both contemporary and traditional Greek music. All members of the band are first-generation Greeks born in Canada, and naturally, they're a festival favorite. For Fortunately for everyone, they play a number of shows throughout the four days of Halifax Greek Fest, and lucky for us, they'll play us to break. Enjoy Poseidon, and we'll be right back with more CNBC. Welcome to Greek Fest! Kalos, <laughs> Ivan, the Greek Fest! Opa! You can't help but feel welcomed into this warm community and word of that Halifax Greek Fest hospitality has spread. Since it began back in 1986, the annual attendance has grown to over 25,000 people. St. George's Greek Orthodox Church and Community Center on the shore of the Northwest Arms Melville Cove provides the site that invites people of all ages to share in this four-day festival. There truly is something for everyone, including the opportunity to tour the spectacular church. Father Peter Maropoulos provides a guided tour of the beautiful space, exploring the Byzantine theology as it's reflected in the architecture and icons of the church. The intricate carvings, the colors, the imagery, and the importance of the icons, it's a one-of-a-kind in Atlantic Canada and a not-to-be-missed part of the festival experience. There's lots of fun for the younger crowd, too, with everything from face painting to puppet shows, scavenger hunts to soccer skills. And when it comes to food, well there's something delicious for everyone and then some. I wish that this was Smellovision because I want to tell you something. In this beautiful June breeze, this Kirkos is, uh, how do you say magnificent in Greek? It's almost the same way. Magnifico. Magnifico. Yes. Agrivos. Yeah. And now you started this on Wednesday and it's now Friday. That's right. How does it work? Take me through it. Well, um, it takes a lot of preparation and a lot of effort yeah. to come to this stage. This is just the final product. Is it all from your mind? Do you have like your own secret sauce and stuff? I do. And... I do. Yeah, everybody is doing it different, but I have my own secret recipe, my own spices, and my own way of cooking it. Other people cook it different, others different. Okay, now this is 30 years. How long have you been cooking here? Uh, this is the first year I do lamb. I cook at the uh, souvlaki and uh, many other things. Okay. But uh, this is the first year I do a lamb. Okay. But I do lamb every year at my house, three or four. Every Easter we do so one. this is special. Am this I is, right? This is because it's the 30th. This is extremely special. Yes. And uh, we do it for the bigger community of Halifax, which has been very supportive to the Greek fest. And we are very happy and we want to thank them Without them, we wouldn't have this today. Very good. Well, we're glad that you're here. Now, just give us one ingredient, Kirkos. Give us one. Give us something that we can take home with, that we could well, do okay. with Well, okay. Well, the basic ingredient I guess everybody's using is salt and pepper. I use uh, rosemary okay. and a couple other things, which I'm not going to say. But basically, <laughs> that is my secret. I gave well, you three out of five, so it's okay. Okay, well, and then the rest were on our own. <laughs> How hard can it be? Okay, now you need it. You can't just throw this on your own barbecue. You need a serious cooker for this. Am I yes, right? you do need a barbecue. In the older days, we used to do it by hand. Okay. And not a steel spit, but we had a wooden spit, which was selected with my father when I was young, and we were we were a particular how the stick is gonna look. What the, it had to be. Not just any stick, it right. had to be the right stick. The same as hockey players select their hockey sticks now. So we um, uh, come to this point and, and I enjoy this since I was seven years old. Wow. And now so, when you went back in the back in the day, then when you were seven, you are you literally standing there the whole time? Yes, you were doing it by hand. 
Uh, we had uh, other people helping between maybe two or three people. Right. And also there was the odd uh, glass of wine going in and everything. I and like you, Kirko. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had a, a feast. By the time the lamb was done, you either were drunk or very hungry. Right. So. <laughs> very good. Delicious! Opa! <laughs> First of all, here's what I love. I love a lot of stuff about the Greek <laughs> festival. I'm not going to kid you. But this lady's name, Fluto. Fluto, yes. Velvet. <laughs> yes, it's Talk. Velvet. So I was named after my grandmother, my dad's mom. <laughs> I love it. Faludo is going to sweep the nation now, right? <laughs> sure, yes. Are you the only Faluvo around, right? Um, in Halifax, definitely. Um, in Greece, there's a few more, but even it's there, beautiful. it's a weird name to oh, them. It's lovely. It's different. Yeah. All right, very good. Well, we're here to talk about food now, um, and what a lot of it. Yes. Eh? Lots of food. <laughs> when We've do you added start more choices. preparing? Like, um, to, like May, April, May, end of April, early May. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, people are eating, like, nonstop, and... Yes. It, and a huge assortment. Take me through what you've got there, Faludo. Oh my goodness. So usually we start with the small things, the pitas, tiropita and spanakopita. So that is a, a sweet? No, it's a cheese pie and a spinach pie. Okay. Some more savory. And this year we have, uh, it's called kota kokinisti, so uh, chicken and a tomato. Slow it down space. there now for the, for the rookies <laughs> in the crowd. What is it? Kota is chicken. Okay. Kokinisti is like a red sauce. Okay. Kind of like in Italian they use pomodoro. Oh, okay. Okay, so, nice. um, it just sounds tastier when she says it, hey? <laughs> so that is in a tomato-based sauce, so that's new for this year. We have the Slovakia on a stick. Yes, okay. so those, we hand skewer, they season and marinate them, and then freeze them. How so many that, would you go through? Just give me a ballpark. Um, I think 5,000 we do by hand, yeah. Wow. So now we, we had Kirkos's lamb, which is amazing. Yes. And, yes, and you're serving meats, and there's also salads and sweets. So and run sweet, me yes. through what that is. Um, so, for example, one of our more popular plates, I guess, is the Greek plate. So that has moussaka on it. Um, we put a souvlaki stick in there, the cheese pie, the spinach pie, and some potatoes. In the sweets, baklava, which everyone knows about. And then we have some other ones. There's um, that rolly, crispy thingy. Yes, what that's is what that? I was going to say. So that's um, basically shredded phyllo, and in the middle is um, walnut and sugar and cinnamon so yeah. good so good okay now we we would be wrong if we didn't say it takes a team okay. how many people are you have you got on the go so i'm actually head of the volunteer committee okay. this year and um on my list i have about 428 names oh my goodness and that's just people volunteering over the weekend yeah there are some ladies that you know some people help out to prepare beforehand uh, and then they go away. We had a few people leave for Greece last week, actually. Oh, so there you go. But they've done their thing. But you know what I love, Faludo? It's that you feel the community when you exactly. come, right? That's it's like it. a big, everybody, come over to our house. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it. And it's great because we have, I'm one of the younger generation, I guess, but I've come, uh, I've grown really close to a lot of the older generation. So it's nice because we all kind of get together and get to know each other. So you're probably not, you, you're younger than the, than the festival, yes? No. I was one when the festival started. She's just a wee babe. <laughs> Do you live around here? Mimos ga dihi menis ato giro. You're so good looking. Pios. Who? Oh, just that's like you're saying it to somebody, so you would say you're so yes, good looking. It, no, well, it has to be a male or a female. No, it has to be plural or singular. That's the only preference. Or one you person. Have you, you, you for the I English mean, like is, one person. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, okay, okay. So you're gonna be talking to one. Yeah. Like. like Always I wanna singular. I want to pick you. It's okay, like a pickup line. No, just that the the Greek in Greek uh, you. It's like French. It's, no, it's different to the. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Here we go. So. You're so good looking. Is the mm, no. Okay. So that's not gonna play for me because if I'm gonna be hitting to someone, you're a girl, I'm a guy. Yeah, but you need to say exactly what I just said. In Greece, I have to put a gender. So am I talking yeah, so to a woman or to a guy? Imagine you're saying it to your wife. 
Perfect. Okay, here we go. You're so good looking. It's a toso morphy. I really, really, really need a coffee. Πραγματικά αυτό που χρειάζομαι είναι ένας καλός καφές τώρα. Mihalios is a coffee man and therefore I love you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I love coffee. Now this is special coffee. This is, yes, from Greece and it's okay. very fine grind. Because That's you put it, it right in the cup, is that right? Yes. Okay. Is that safe? Yes, it okay. is. Is it a lot of caffeine? Because I love caffeine. Yes, it is. Very strong. Yeah. Okay. And you can read these. There's a lady that's going to read my grounds. Is that right? Yes. Okay. What's her name? Should I pay her beforehand? <laughs> or I should? <laughs> well, you're going to have to in order to tell your fortune. Okay. Yes. I know, but Otherwise I want a good fortune. Work. I'll pay more if I can get a good fortune. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can get a positive fortune. All right. Very for good. For sure. Mihelius. You got a heavy duty road in front of you. Mihai, Are you being on. serious now? Yeah, look at it. You look, you see right there there's a big road? Oh yeah. See it going up the mountain? Yes. There's a road. Does that mean it's a good we don't Maybe know. Maybe you're going on a trip. Life is always a big road. Yeah. I got a lot of baggage on that road, <laughs> eh? <laughs> there's some weather in front of you. Yes. See that? That's lightning. Oh Looks no. Like stormy stormy well, road. We live in Nova Scotia. You're trying to put a good spin on it. It's bad news, isn't it, Dina? No, it's never, it's ever, whatever you make of it. Is there any good looking drivers on the road or? On that road, you do have a little turn, two turns. See, one this way, one that way. And that Maybe two men? Could be. You're gonna, you got two stops on that road. And a little bit of lightning. Now that doesn't ever go back, right? It's going forward? Going forward, always forward. You got a tree. Life, good life. There's some leaves. There's some leaves on that tree. That's good. Do you have children? I have one little girl. Well, there may be more. Oh, stop it! That's, I'm 80. That's all I can. <laughs> that's all I can see. Dina's clearly been drinking. Ladies Not and yet. gentlemen, Dina. <laughs> a messy one. Yeah. Oh. Wait now, okay, so this is camera guy Scott. That's a woman in a dress. Yes, it is. With an arrow, bow and arrow. With what does that feet. mean? Are you married? You are married. You're in love. I'm married. Oh. You're in love. No. That it look look at the bow and arrow. Yeah. See it right there? Wow. That does look like Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see over here. Is there a really difficult girl with a microphone in there? No? <laughs> well, you got some heavy clouds. While I'm not sure about my fortune, I am certain I love Greek coffee. Almost as much as I love free stuff. Time to dole out our TV free stuff prize for this episode. And in keeping with all the wonderful tastes to be savored here at the Halifax Greek Fest, we've got a terrific cookbook to give away. Up for grabs, courtesy of our good friends at Nimbus Publishing, Halifax Tastes. Restaurant critic and acclaimed author Liz Feltham serves up the newest in the taste series that showcases all the many flavors found in Halifax and Dartmouth. 27 of the region's best restaurants are featured, from zesty Italian to spicy Thai, from tangy Chinese to carefully presented Japanese, delightful Greek to classic Canadian cuisine. There is sure to be a restaurant and a recipe to suit everyone's liking. And it can be yours if you can tell us what milestone anniversary did the Halifax Greek Fest celebrate this year. It's easy because I want you to win. Once you know it, hit the website at cnbc.com, click on the TV free stuff button and submit your answer. Good luck to you and we'll be right back with a lesson in Greek Dancing 101. Welcome to a CNBC exclusive from the 2015 Halifax Greek Fest, Greek Dancing 101. Hi. My name is George Theoharopoulos, and it's my pleasure to teach you a Greek dance called the Kasapo Servico. It's really easy. Even if you have two left feet, you're going to pick this up, no problem. So really, the, step, the steps go like this. Step, behind, step, kick, 
step, kick, step, behind, step, kick, step, kick, step, behind, step, kick, step, kick. And how about a little bit of music now? Kick, step, kick, step, behind, step, kick, step. Step, behind, step, kick. And we can do it a little faster. So we add a little jumping in. And then we can add a little kick. So back to basics. Step, kick, step. Thank you. And that is how you do the Casapo Cervico. The Halifax Greek Fest is just one of oh so many great festivals held along Canada's east coast. We've done our best to post them all in our event listings on the site, but we'd need a week or more to share them all with you here on the show. So here's just a sampling of what's in store for Atlanta, Canada this summer. June 23rd through the 27th, St. John's hosts the Nickel Independent Film Festival. Celebrating its 15th year, this feisty five-day festival showcases local and foreign short films, features, documentaries, and music videos. Always a time, and always a great lineup, and a wonderful way to meet some of the industry's finest filmmakers. For more info, visit nickelfestival.com. Tignish PEI will host their beloved annual Irish Moss Festival, June 25th through the 28th. This will mark 33 years for the fun-filled family event that includes everything from lawnmower races to horse pulls, antique cars, and a parade. And this year, it's a tremendous tribute to the late great Stompin' Tom Connors. For more festival information there, visit peiae.ca. Going strong for over 50 years, Grand Falls, New Brunswick invites you to join them July 1st through the 5th for their annual Regional Potato Festival. Coinciding with all the Canada Day celebrations, it's a festival full of entertainment fun for the whole family. Celebrating agriculture in the area, there'll be a talent showcase, the Miss Grand Falls Gala, and a festival parade to cap it all off. For more information, visit the town site at grandfallsnb.com. Cape Breton Island's Gaelic College is proud to celebrate its second annual Kitchen Fest, June 27th through July 4th, with all things local, food, stories, hospitality, and of course, lots of music. It's eight days and 18 venues with over 100 events and over 150 performers. For more information, visit gaeliccollege.edu. July 2nd through the 5th, Mirror Machine New Brunswick invites you to step back in time to the 50s and 60s for their 21st annual Rock and Roll Festival, where you'll find something for every member of the family, including children's games, street dances, fireworks, free live outdoor entertainment, and a golden oldie car show. Put on your dancing shoes and kick up your heels. For the full rundown of all the fun, visit rockandrollfestival.com. Anaganish, Nova Scotia's famous Evolve Music and Awareness Festival will be celebrating their Sweet 16 July 9th through the 12th with their annual three-day summer celebration of music, culture, and social awareness. World-class performers from around the globe will take to the stage. There'll be workshops to inform spectators about social issues, personal well-being, the environment, and more. For more information, visit EvolveFestival.com. PEI will be rocking July 10th through the 12th as country greats take to the Cavendish Beach Music Festival stage. Well, they don't call it the hottest weekend of the summer for nothing with over 30 acts including Eric Church, Brantley Gilbert and the awesome Keith Urban. They're expecting over 70,000 visitors. There's camping, camaraderie and killer country music. You can't beat that combination. For more info, visit CavendishBeachMusic.com. Well, my folks used to live there so I can tell you it's 
lots of fun. This year, Holyrood, Newfoundland will be hosting its 27th annual Squid Fest from July 15th through the 19th. There's something for everyone, from harbor cruises to car shows to outdoor movies. It's five days and nights of fun. Plus, there'll be a ton of talented performers to take to the stage, including Ron Hines, The Once, Shani Ganock, Amelia Kern, and more. For the full scoop, visit squidfest.ca. Sackville Landing on Lower Water Street in Halifax is the spot for the annual AfriFest, running July 24th through the 26th. The Africa Festival of Arts and Culture is a vibrant celebration that includes visual and performing arts and, of course, amazing music, all with the aim of educating people of all ages about the culture and artistic works of the people of African descent. And the best part, it's free. To learn more, visit their site at afacs.org. Grand Bank Newfoundland will host their annual summer festival with a come home year celebration July 24th through August 5th. There's a community fair on the waterfront, dory races, fireworks, traditional Newfoundland dinners, a big truck parade and tons of Newfoundland music. You can find out all the details at townofgrandbank.com. Last, but certainly not least, the 15th annual AFF Outdoor Film Festival Experience presents Summer of Superheroes. The Atlantic Film Festival hosts Nova Scotia's summer-long free outdoor film series, this year featuring 11 fan favorites throughout the HRM. Projected on a 30-foot inflatable screen, there'll be summer screenings happening on the Halifax waterfront and in two locations in Bedford and another two locations in Dartmouth. The Summer of Superheroes will feature all your favorites from Spider-Man to Superman to X-Men to Men in Black. It'll be tons of fun for everyone. We've got all the details on our site. Plus, we continue our CNBC tradition with our AFF Outdoor Film Festival adult beverage. You'll have to hit the site to find out our super summer concoction. You can watch this show and all the other great Community One programming anytime you want. Simply click the On Demand button on your Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV remote and follow the steps on your screen. And for our online celebration of all the people, places and things that make Atlantic Canada so special, visit cnbc.com. Amazing to think July 1st will be our 5th anniversary of sharing all things entertaining on Canada's East Coast and you better believe we've got all kinds of fun things in store for our month long celebration. Stay tuned for that and thanks for tuning in for all the Halifax Greek Fest fun. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. We'll see you next time on CNBC TV. Barkeep, another round. Αφεντικό, άλλη μια γύρα σ' όλους. <laughs>